The climate crisis is driving hurricanes to grow faster and stronger than ever before. This storm in no way will be weakening. Time is not on our side. Hurricane Ida grew from a Category 1 to a Category 4 hurricane in less than a day. This effect, known as rapid intensification, leaves emergency planners little time to react. Your window of time is closing. To help make better forecasts, the company Saildrone believes its autonomous research vessels are up to the challenge of finding out what conditions cause storms to intensify so quickly. We're going to try and sail it to the eye of a hurricane where no one's ever managed to get before. Traditionally, scientists capture hurricane data by flying planes directly through them, dropping probes into the sky along the way. But in order to completely understand a storm, scientists say more data needs to be collected from the surface of the ocean. What drives a hurricane's strength is a transfer of heat and moisture from the ocean to the atmosphere. We don't quite understand the dynamics of how that works. In order to find out, Saildrone deployed five ships into the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean, areas where lots of hurricanes develop and are likely to hit land. They're powered by the sun and wind, can stay out at sea for months at a time, and are built to take a beating. You know, it's really designed to get hit by a wave, tumble, submerged, and come back up and carry on sailing. And I see a camera up top. For this hurricane mission, it's key to understand the spray, the foam on the water. So we're hoping that we can see with the camera what the water looks like. The drone's sensors and cameras can send data and images in real time back to Sail Drone's headquarters. These are measurements of wind, temperature, humidity, right at that interface level that may help the modelers understand the fundamentals of hurricanes better. That's never been done before. The company said for the first time, one of its drones successfully sailed into a Category 4 storm, Hurricane Sam, encountering 50-foot waves and winds over 120 miles per hour. The footage and data it collected could potentially improve hurricane models, allowing emergency planners to give better directions to residents back on land. We're hoping to get really precise measurements, which really drives our intelligence. We have to predict the future strength of hurricanes, and then enable people to make preparations or move out of the way with ample time.